Hey y'all, so we're gonna make a simple but heavy duty laundry cart to go in between the washer and dryer. Now I have some three inch wheels that the cart will sit on. So I need to subtract that from my cuts on the wood. Okay, so y'all, I want the cart to be at least 38 inches high. All right, y'all, so this is kind of a preview of what the cart is gonna look like. I want a wider base than the sides. And this is just regular pine that I'm gonna use that I had laying around. And like I said, I wanna have it heavy duty. So this is one and a half inches thick. And this across is nine inches. And for the size, it is seven inches. And the main purpose of it is to hold some of the heavy duty laundry supplies that I'll be needing. So what we're gonna start out is basically with a, a box. All I'm doing right here, y'all, is it, I'm insetting the wood about an inch and a quarter on each side and just marking it so I'll know where to pre-drill my holes. And then we'll have room here to put our wheels. And I'm just going to inset them in probably a quarter of an inch. and then I can pre-drill my holes. Now my cut's made. Basically, it's just a simple box. So what we're gonna do is clamp it together and put it together. And what I wanna do is make sure I got it lined up with my lines here. Okay, y'all, for this top corner, what I did was clamp my square there to make sure that I keep this square. All right, and right here for the screw holes, what we're going to do is countersink that. I just want to make sure that my screw head can go down in there. All right, y'all. So we do want at least one shelf in here. So I'm going to put this here so that I can have my spacing so that it can be inset. Measure for our shelf, which is going to be 20 inches and just a little divot. And if y'all know me, <laughs> a divot is just a teeny little bit. Okay. All right, y'all, so I always cut a little bit more because remember, you can take off, but you can't put it back, all right? So we may have to sneak up on the exact size for this. So I'm cutting this at 20 and a quarter. All right. Almost, just a little bit more. This is after the third cut, sneaking up on it, okay? Now remember, this is the bottom. And we are perfect. Just trying to get it centered on 16 inches there. So I can make my mark. Now, just because I don't want these screws to show on the side, I'm gonna do one side with pocket hole screws. And I've got my board positioned so that the pocket holes are under the bottom and you can't see it. Now I'm gonna turn it over, do the same thing. I think I only really need like three. Let's see if you can see that. 
we're just going to do a little sanding. I just want to make sure that, you know, most of the markings you can't see and that there are no chances of getting splinters. And I'm not going to paint it or stain it or anything at this point because I'm not committed to what colors I want for the laundry room. So, for now, it's just going to stay raw wood. And I also think that's beautiful. I'm gonna make a table to go across the washer and dryer. But the wood shelving that I have is not wide enough, so I'm gonna add uh, another piece to it. So they're going to be added together with pocket holes. Let's talk a little bit about our laundry room. Actually, laundry space makeover. Because it's so tiny, I had to jam a whole lot of stuff in here so it can be high efficiency for me. As you can see, I made two folding tables. They'll go up here. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll show it to you later. Go up here. And out of the way, you need to toss something in the washer. There we go, just like that, no issues. And of course, we have us a laundry cart right here. That's our laundry cart, y'all. Slide it back in there like that. All right, let's get a little closer, y'all, okay? I got my basket up there. Everybody needs a basket. Nice little scenery up there. Some baskets to hold whatever you want to. And there you have it.